Good morning. Today we are going to see the plexoplate making process. And in this, we are going to discuss sheet photopolymer plate. Now see various types of plexographic plates. In their plexography, there are different types of plates available. The first one is a rubber plate, which is made up of rubber, and second one is photopolymer plates. In uh, photopolymer plates, there are two types. One is sheet photopolymer plate and second is liquid photopolymer plate. In today's discussion, we are going to see the plate making process for the sheet photopolymer plate. Let us see the structure of sheet photopolymer plate. So basically, so photopolymer, sheet photopolymer plate is made up of three layers. The top layer is a polyester cover sheet which is protective layer over here. Below that there is a photopolymer layer which is photosensitive layer which forms the image area of the plate. And below that there is a polyester backing sheet which is uh, which gives the support from the bottom of from the bottom to the plate. Now see in this figure after processing you will get it like this and there are uh, various parts of the plates. Here uh, the letter A is nothing but the image area which is formed by using this photopolymer layer. Right? Here on the base there are some portion is there that is nothing but the floor. Right, on and above the floor, there is an actual image area is there in the form of letter A. So here, this is your image area, the floor on which your image area lies, and the, you have a air backing over here. The distance from the base or backing up to the image area is nothing but the caliber. It is nothing but the caliber, caliper. Uh, here distance from the floor surface to the top of the image surface is nothing but the relief. That is the actual height of your image area or relief depth. Let us see what is a photopolymer plate. The photopolymer plates are made up of monomer and UV initiators. So that when it exposed to UV light, the Polymerization or cross linking of the monomer begins, and the, due to that chemical reaction, the monomer join together each other to become a solid mass or a polymer. So, here basically it is a photo, uh, polymerization reaction which converts the uh, monomer into polymer or the softened mass into a solid mass. There are uh, different thickness available for the, the photopolymer plate and this is basically depend on the various sprays that is plexographic machines available and the final application for what purpose it is going to be used or what kind of substrates are used for the process. The plate thickness is generally available from 0.045 inch to the 0.250 inch. Here, uh, Higher thicknesses range from 0.125 inch to the 0.250 inch. These are basically used for the corrugated board or thicker board kind of substrate. Now we have seen the structure. Let us understand the process of plate making over here. There are a total 5 stages or 5 steps in plexo photopolymer plate making. First one is the back exposure. Second one is the main exposure, then processing and drying, then again uh, post exposure and then final stage is monitoring the plate quality or examining the plate quality. Let us understand first stage back exposure. Basically in this stage the plate is exposed from the back side that is from the base of the plate. So normally it is exposed uh, with the help of UV light and because of that UV light the base the polymer layer from the base start getting cured 
and we build a solid mass and that solid mass is nothing but the floor of the your plate that is uh, on which your image is lies so it creates a solid base on which image area can create it so plate making equipment has a an arrangement on top and bottom to give different exposure so here your plate making exposure you need as a lamps at the top and the back or bottom so here basically exposure is given from the bottom of the plate in order to form a floor height or floor area now next step is main exposure so in this uh, main exposure process here actually the image area is exposed onto the plate so here the top layer protective film is removed and the plate is exposed with the help of using negative film so here on the top of this photopolymer layer you can see a negative which is uh, showing negative here which is uh, showing open image area and block non image area so you can see here generally uh, it is uh, ex uh, it is exposed through a negative and uh, the top of the plate the negative is placed and under a vacuum condition it is exposed through uv light and in this process when it is exposed through uv light light passes through this open image area of the negative right which hardens the photopolymer layer over it and the area which is a black area here which is a non image area light doesn't pass through it light doesn't pass through it right and because of that it become a non image area of the plate so here uh, again it is exposed to uv light but the image area get harder while the non image area remains unpolymerized monomer which can be then washed away with the solvent so here in this stage there is a harder image area and softer non image area next step is a processing and drying after exposing you have a harder image area and softer non image area or unpolymerized non image area which is further get wash out in the processing stage so here appropriate solvent is used to remove you can see here in a diagram which remove the unpolymerized layer with the help of the brush after removing the unpolymerized area only the harder image area now present onto the plate still there are certain stresses of solvent present over there then so that the solvent is removed afterwards with the help of sponge by wiping and again with the help of dryer using hot dryer all the solvent is removed from the plate area now you have the image area raised on to the base now there are three parts on your plate one is a base then floor floor which is uh, form you know back exposure then there is a raised image area which is formed in the main exposure now next and last step is a post exposure so what is the purpose of post exposure here so here there are still there are some unpolymerized monomer are present in the plate surface so here in order to cure plate completely it is again exposed through the uv light so that uh, there will be a no stickiness present onto the plate or any unreacted material still remaining which may cause problem into the plate afterwards while printing now let us see the some plate making problems what kind of problems can come in this process if too much back exposure is given what will happen it increases the relief uh, sorry floor height and because of that it creates less relief height for the image area so most of the part is consumed by the your floor 
right so there are little parties remaining for your image area second problem may come because of the inadequate back exposure so if it is not properly given the soft uncured layer is in between present in between your image area or the and the fluoride so it may again create a problem over here this portion you can see over here in diagram inadequate back next problem may come with the inadequate back and face exposure so there are we can see that there is a inadequate exposure from back so there is a in, uh, inappropriate formation of the fluoride again there is a inadequate or insufficient exposure from the top so there is a again uh, insufficient or improper formation of the image so you have this uh, soft area in between these two again due to that you have a problem in using the fringe too much face exposure so here uh, too much face exposure is given and because of that you will see the image area get here widen so here increase in image area you can see over here so face exposure may cure the area below the relief also and again uh, it start penetrating to the this area of the negative where the negative image and it enters into the that non image area also so you have very little image form form onto the plate and again the area is wider over here so it is again inappropriate image area formed onto the now see uh, which kind of UV lights are used. UVC wavelength 180 to 280 nanometer used for the light finishing. That is the final exposure. UVB 280 to 320 nanometer used for the plate making. That is the main exposure. UVH 320 400 mm back and main exposure. So uh, 320 to 400 nanometer can be used for back and, and both. Thank you.